Hey, this is Frank Taylor with Nature in Your Backyard, and I'm in Wildwood Park today, part of Virginia's backyard and a real gem for the city of Radford. This is a urban forest in the city of Radford, and they've got some great bike trails here and hiking trails and a stream that's behind me. But today, I want to show you something really cool. This is a plant called cleaver and it's in the bed straw family. Plants in the bed straw family were called bed straws because people used them to stuff their mattresses. Back in the day when people slept with a straw tick, this plant was really good to mix in with the straw or their hay because it helped puff it up and help the mattress keep their shape. So this plant is a bed straw and it's called cleaver. And I'll show you why it's called cleaver. But first, let's go over here and take a look at the plant in its natural setting. And I'll show you some fun things that you could do with this. So I'll be right back. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's to make this invasive. It's exotic. Dogwoods are flower. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's So I'm down here in the middle of this park and I'm gonna go over to the side of the stream. Here is some plants called cleavers. And these cleavers are these plants right here. And you can see that they're starting to yellow out. These plants actually grow early in the spring, produce their leaves, flower, and now they've already all turned to seed. So their life cycle is finished, and after they spread those seeds, they'll die back. So let me pick up one small stem here. And one of the things I want you to notice is how it's just sprawling across other vegetation. So here's one of the stems I pulled up, and it's just sprawled across. So most plants have their own stem that they use to hold their leaves and spread their leaves out. This plant sort of has a strategy not to waste any of that energy building cellulose, because cellulose is actually made up of chains of simple sugars. And plants make sugars by the process of photosynthesis. So they string together the sugars to form cellulose, which makes up the woody part of a plant like this tree. That wood is made up of cellulose. Now this plant doesn't waste much time making cellulose because instead of making its own firm stem to hold itself up, it just sprawls across other plants like this. And you can see it sprawling across. So let's see if I, we can take a closer look at this. A closer look is better when I put it on my jeans here. You can see that the plant has a stem that is kind of squarish. And right now it has little seed pods. And I'll do some close-up pictures and put them into my video for a close-up at the seed pods. And the leaves are at nodes in a spiral. And you can see how these leaves are at individual nodes and spiral out from a point on the stem. Now here's the cool thing about this plant. Why is this plant called cleaver? Well, let me show you. You see how I can put this on my shirt and take it off and stick it on my shirt and pull it off and stick it on my shirt and pull it off. It's just like Velcro. And if you look at these leaves and stems very closely, you'll see that they're covered with tiny, tiny hairs. Every part of the plant, the seeds, the leaves, the stem, are covered with tiny little hook-like thorns or hairs, just like Velcro. And that's what it's made to do. And when I was teaching biology, I would show this plant to my students and they love teasing each other. 
and throwing it on a person and watching it stick to them. And it just pulls off easily like Velcro. And I was reading up on that and apparently kids in England, this was used to be a, a favorite game for them to play. And you can camouflage yourself with it if you get enough. So this is called Cleaver because of the fact that it can cleave onto your clothing and stick to things. And it's of course also in the bed straw family. So cleaver, other strategy, is to grow like this to spread seeds. So part of its strategy is not to put energy into cellulose, but put energy into seed production. And this has lots of seeds. How are its seeds spread? Well, an animal, or me in my blue jeans, walking through the woods and brushing into it, the whole stem breaks off. And it's made to break off easily and attached to the stem are the seeds. But if the stem doesn't get me, the seeds will stick to me as well. And in one of my other videos, you could see my shirt was covered with these because I was looking at some other plants. So, so this has been Frank Taylor with Nature in Your Backyard reporting to you from Wildwood Park about a cool plant called cleaver. Three things to remember. Number one, it's in the bed straw family. Bed straws were plants that were used to fluff up your straw tick, your mattress that you would sleep on. We found out that cleaver doesn't put energy into producing a real hard stem. Instead, it produces energy just so it can at least sprawl across other plants and use all that energy to produce seeds and not waste it making a, a heavy plant stem. I mean, why should you when you can sprawl across other plants and let them hold you up and get sunlight? And the third thing we learned about cleaver was that it spreads its seeds by cleaving onto or sticking to people and animals. And you can see that I helped it right here and I've got seeds on me already. And because of that property, because all its stem and leaves and seeds are covered with little tiny hairs, it works like Velcro. And it's kind of fun helping the plant spread its seeds and throwing a piece of Velcro on your friend. So I hope you had fun watching nature in your backyard today. This was kind of cool plant to see. I think years ago, kids used to play with this all the time, but now we're in a generation where we don't get outside so much. So I want you to go outside and see what you can find. Thanks for watching nature in your backyard. We'll see you again soon.